Hello, my name is Samantha Schock, and I am hopefully going to be a future secondary social studies educator. I can't wait to teach students all about history and sociology and government. In the world today, though, teaching is a lot more complex than it used to be. To keep my future students' attention, I am going to need a lot more than just textbooks and artifacts. I am going to need technology. One of the tools I would like to use in my classroom is Skype where we could talk to students from other parts of the world, sharing school projects, lessons, and discussions. Communication could not only be between students, but also between professionals and experts. Being able to interact and ask questions of someone that the school would never otherwise have the resources to provide in person is incredible. Another tool I would like to use in my classroom is ePals, where my students and I can connect with different classrooms by getting ideas and sharing ideas. We could use collaborative learning tools such as blogs, wikis, and media galleries with classrooms within or outside of the United States. Digital projects are another way to use technology in the classroom. This is done by getting pictures and information from the internet and creating and presenting everything in a digital format. Pinterest is another technological tool that can be used in the classroom. Sites such as these can be used as a way to share resources and a collection of links and photos pertaining to the subject or project. I would love to use this in my classroom as a way to compare and contrast different wars in the United States history and also their different categories and elements. Technology in the classroom is a must in this generation. Adding it can make a classroom that much more relatable and interesting for students, which not only increases their participation, but also their value in what they're doing. This video contains just a few ideas of things I would like to do in my classroom, but... The possibilities are endless.